I decided on welding because I figured that's something I could probably do for the rest of my life and I enjoy doing it. The employers don't want them to just be able to weld, they want them to be able to fabricate. They need to have a, a very a good toolbox of skills to draw from. Welders now have to be able to do many other things, so there's a wide variety of things that we teach them to be able to get to that skill set. We learn how to cut with the oxyacetylene torch, some of the MIG welding how to grind, stick welding, TIG welding, you just kind of learn it all. It's laid out so that you kind of focus on one process at a time. If you don't use it, you lose a little bit there. So you know, I'm back honing in my skills. You know, like TIG welding, you know, for aluminum and stainless steel, I'd never done before. I'm getting to learn the finer, you know, metals and, the, you know, their components and stuff. They have to have that hands-on component. And the more of that we can get them, the better they'll be. The more saleable, their skill set will be at the end. As contrary as people want to think, skill trades are still valuable. You can't go anywhere in this country and not run into something that's either been welded or machined or formed out of metal. Computers, cars, trucks, buses, bridges, everything is made out of metal. And welding just happens to be what holds it all together. If you're not hands-on, you're not gonna know how to do what you're doing. Um, There's only so much you can learn from reading a book until you get down there and actually start welding, or cutting, or any of that. You're really not going to know how to do what you're doing. It takes experience and practice to do what we do. Since I started, there are a lot of new uh, processes and a lot of the new technology and what have you have gone, have gone computerized. Where everything where I started back in the 80s was very manual and very, you know, rough. I've been in the, the industry, the welding industry, for over 20 years. And coming back to school to get recertified at my age, uh, you know, for my older generation, came back in and I'm learning an awful lot that was not, you know, taught to me when I first started out in the welding field. So it's an amazing program. All the teachers have a lot of experience. They know a lot. They're really good at explaining things. In a clear understanding way. We've got several simulations and, and a few virtual machines. What virtual gives you is it gives you the ability to teach somebody how to weld without them ever striking an arm. They earn their money when they work in this field. There is no doubt about that. And the virtual pieces are, are just, it's another tool we have in the toolbox to be able to train. Somebody said that the average age for a welder is 56, um, meaning they're going to start retiring here soon and they're going to need more welders and more welders as time goes on. You've got huge construction projects in this region that are going crazy. When I first started out, they said we were going to get replaced by robots. Well, they still haven't found a robot that can weld in a ditch, climb a ladder, or lay underneath something and weld. This is one of the few places where you can get those skills to be able to get those jobs. And that's the important part. We take pride in what we do. And that's the program reflects that, and I think welding in general reflects that. You know, it, there's, if you talk to anybody that's been a welder, it's probably the most satisfying job they've ever had, and I would, and I would attest to that. I've tried doing other things in my career, nothing compares to this. There isn't any other job out there that compares to this, because I can go out and go to buildings that I help construct, or go to bridges that I help make, find my weld stamp on that bridge, and it's still there. And that's a big deal. It's not just a man's job, it's, it's a hard job. You know, I'm not saying it's not. It's a hard, dirty, loud job, but it's, it's a rewarding job, you know, and your future is vast. It's never ending. Anything you touch in this day and age, somehow or another, a welder had to do with it.